So hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. And um, I'm here with Wen and my kid. So let me show you, my kid is sleeping right now. And, uh, here he is. Well, that's good, because I don't need to uh, shake over him all the time. And, uh, you know, because there's no space. There's very limited space and of course uh, it's difficult to film here in this kind of environment. Um, in fact, the, the thing is, I might, I, some people might, uh, might annoy me at some point. Uh, the thing is, um, <laughs> this woman is also cute, taking photo of the queue behind us. And the thing is, is, is this is what happens. Um, whenever you have the brand product here in France, you have long queues. And that's, that's the case for Gucci, that's the case for LV, that's the case for all these uh, big brands, luxury products. Um, the sheeples will come here and they will be queuing to buy their bags. You know? <laughs> the sheeples, they will. look at this, you know, it's, it's a total mess, you know. And uh, the, the sheeples are often uh, Chinese people. So there is one thing, is uh, people will say, oh, Chinese people are very wealthy. Is it really the case? No, it's not the case. Uh, it's just the way they will spend their money. So of course you have some very wealthy Chinese people, but uh, the thing is, um, but any, every, in any countries, you have wealthy people, right? In the US, you have some very wealthy people as well. In France, you have some very wealthy people. But the thing is, it's all about how you spend your money and how you display your money. Um, this is something also very funny, you know, this guy is asking me, are you in the queue? Which is nice, but I mean, just do as, as, as in China, you know, in China you don't ask this, so why do you ask, why do you, why do you bother, you know? Just do it as, the same as at home. Now, so, so the, the way you spend your money, so the way they will spend their money is uh, buy all these big brands, buy all these uh, bags, uh, uh, LV, Dior, Chanel, and uh, of course people will say, oh look, they have a lot of money, because they display it. Uh, even on the everyday, uh, if you are uh, living in China, you will notice all, all everyone, all the guys who have a little bit money, they will only have a Nike, uh, uh, maybe Ray-Ban, Nike, or all the brands, uh, Lacoste, but the big ones, they only would like to wear the big br uh, the brands. So that's one thing, and people will say, oh, they have a lot of money. No, they don't have so much money, they just spend all their money on this kind of product. And when they, have not, they don't have enough money to buy the real one, they will have the fake one, and then you think it's real. But it's that's the way you spend the money, you know. You can save all your money every month and just spend it all uh, to buy some bags and to buy some shoes. And that's what they are doing, you know. Uh, in fact, in China, even someone is making uh, 5,000 yuan, like say, uh, 6,000 yuan salary a month. And then he will try to spend everything he can and just buy his LV bag at uh, 1,000 euro, you know. And that's what they will do. And whenever they, they travel, so for them, it's probably the first time that they come to France, the first time that they come here, the first thing that they need to do is buy their LV bag. So I've been to France, I, I, I buy my LV bag, I buy my Gucci, I buy my... This. So that's how it is. And, um, and that's it, you know. Um, also, another way that they will spend money is buy property and buy property and get the visa. So they will spend a lot for these kind of things. So then you will think, oh, they are very wealthy. Not that much. I mean, some people are very wealthy. But the thing is, you need to consider that it is the saving of the whole life. They save everything they can and they will buy the property so that they can get their, their visa. And this is the saving of a whole life. And, and there is also the issue that um, they will spend together as a community. So you have maybe uh, one family with uh, the parents, the grandparents, the kids, the uncle. They will put all the money together and they will say, okay, we'll, we'll lend you, we'll put all the money together to invest in a home. And that's how it is. Or uh, because for them it's the only way. So when you look even in Paris, you see all the coffee, coffee place, uh, tobacco place, all this kind of place, the owner is always a Chinese guy. Uh, not that they are wealthy, but for them it's, the, it's a good investment. So maybe they will borrow money to the whole community, the family will borrow land to them. And of course there will be the mafia behind this. Uh, in French we have a name for this called La Tontine. La Tontine means uh, the mafia will look, uh, everybody, the, the uncle, the tonton, the uncle, the aunt, they will borrow, lend the money and they will lend the money to one guy and this guy will, will just buy uh, a business 
and then it will pay back for the next 50 years. And that's what's happening. You know? So of course, when you see all this, when if you look from the outside, you'll say, oh, they are buying properties, they are buying this, they are buying that, they're very wealthy. It's just a way that you spend the money. You know, uh, wealthy guys, like if you take my parents, I, they are not so wealthy, but I will say they are upper middle class, okay? Uh, the way they spend their money is what? They buy, uh, they have a 300 years old house, they will pay for the repairs, they will have the nice painting, uh, they will um, go to the very good hotel, five-star hotel. They are not going to spend so much on clothes. If you look at them, they are not very well dressed. Um, they will spend a lot, a lot of money on the food. They only buy organic food, quality food. You know, maybe, mo and that's something I discussed once. I remember, you know, many very wealthy people in China, what they will do. They are not going to buy organic food. They don't see the interest of this. They would rather save and buy some LV. And by the way, uh, even you take some guy like uh, Jack Ma or the, the wealthiest guy in China, you look at his teeth. His teeth is all fucked up. You know, his skin is bad. His, his hair are, are ugly. He's not shaved well. And you think this guy is the wealthiest guy in China. He just doesn't care about money. And that's also a way of behaving. Uh, in fact, in the US, there is also this way of behaving. So why people are being, being this way? I think it's a perception of life. But, uh, you want to have the brown, you have to want... And also, uh, it's a way of life, the community way of life, the family way of life. And I think it has to do also um, with the conception world. Like, you, you are not able to judge the quality or you're not able to judge the quality of life but you are able to buy depending on based on the brand or based on the image. And it has a lot to do with face. The notion of face is very important. Uh, when I see this, I think Chinese people are, are, are the dumbest, uh, the, the, the most stupid customers that you have on earth, honestly. Uh, you know, if I shop for something, I'm going to look at the price, I'm going to look at the quality, I will try to, to check and compare. I'm not going to simply come and say, oh, I saved for one month's salary and I'm going to spend it all to buy this because it's a big brand. But uh, you have to consider that uh, even though when you have, uh, when you have uh, expensive car, luxury car, expensive brand, uh, what happens is that uh, for you, it will benefit your business. Uh, I told you about my uncle in China. He had a very good business because he would always buy the very expensive luxury car and people look up at him, oh, and then he can sell his product much better because he is wealthy, he's clever, I need to buy his product, he's successful. The image matters a lot for these guys. Uh, so it depends how you perceive uh, things in life, you know. And, uh, uh, so anyway, now uh, that's how I wanted to explain to you today, okay? <laughs> I leave you for now. Donc au revoir les amis, à bientôt.